Hello and welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. And we're going to wrap up what we started two days ago. Or was it yesterday? It was yesterday, wasn't it? Sorry, my brain escapes me. Two videos ago it was. But anyways, here we are with... There it is. I had to scroll around to find it. Puzzle Gauntlet. We're getting the last set of nodes in, or pins as they call them. <laughs> And I have a special guest nearby me as well, my little girl, who has much more YouTube experience than I do. <laughs> she is nearby. So, um, we got these five last nodes or pins to do. Um, and we're going to start with the bottom left one and work our way over to the right. Um, using anything but five stars to get through these, okay? That's uh, why, if you're, this is your first time watching one of these, it's because we want to make sure we use everyday examples of how to get through these. Not, not stuff that people have to hoard and spend so much time acquiring. Let's see. Puzzle over round one. Collect 18 black AP. On your turn, new tiles have an increased chance to be blue. That tells me, like, right away, that three-star Doctor Doom would be a good idea, because he can turn blue into black. Um, uh, we could probably do other things, though. And I kind of have an idea. I'm just up my sleeve here, but let's, uh... Let's see, Jean Grey is there just in case we use, like, Cloak and Dagger, for example, because that can help us make match fives, or Domino will help us make match fives, like, extra blacks will be in play, right? Uh, Jean Grey's help is there to basically say no. You're gonna get stunned for two turns for even thinking that way. Um, Craven's there to make sure that I'm not using special tiles to get it done, which I'll admit has crossed my mind. If I put Dark Beast in, I could use those special tiles to like match them and make more, you know, AP on black as long as the tiles fall on black. Um, they want us to do it a different way and primarily using blue. So let's get into it. Um, blue to black, and we have to use one of these featured characters. Well, this ain't going to do anything here. Um, he has a passive that makes purple or blue out of matching special tiles, or I should say enemy tiles. Um, <clears throat> nothing over there in the enemy team screamed uh, enemy special tiles to me. Um, this guy's recharge, his yellow can make a ton of red, blue, and a good amount of green and purple. No black. Um, which a soldier's purple can steal black from the opponent when you use his purple to target a black tile. So that's a possibility. Um, Cyclops, I'm skipping over to him. No, it's all about red generation over there. Um, his yellow could be used for it too, though, because his yellow literally states... Um, when one of these tiles on the board, friendly team up matches generate an additional four AP in the team's strongest color. So if I made sure my strongest color was black, he could help there. But so can Valkyrie, and without casting an ability, um, it's it's different mechanic, but same same idea. This one is a bounty hunter where I get a five turn black countdown passively. It just happens, and doing so much damage. Or taking down the opponent will trigger 4 AP in the strongest color. Now, since this one requires damage or downing the opponent, I'm thinking we actually should go with Cyclops. Because we're not using a 5 star to punch up. You know, we're not like using a 5 star to do all that damage. We're going to use 4 stars and less. So, let's use him. Let's gun for yellow. And that way we'll match team up tiles that way. Um, also, his blue helped trim down the fat elsewhere. Um, but I'm probably not going to use his blue, let's be honest. I'm probably still going to throw in three-star Doctor Doom, so it's blue, purple, black. Put him here, right? Um, and then someone else over here to fill in. Let's see. We don't want fives. We just want fours and threes. Maybe twos, but let's, let's call it as fours and threes, right? Um, or if I can just get free yellow AP, that'd be nice, right? Um, what if we need to generate black? Be kind of cool if I can get Captain Marvel the tank, right? Because her yellow 
It says when she takes greater than seven or two damage, she generates five red and three black. That's an extra three black. I mean, that might not be a bad thing if I can get her to tank some, but I don't think she will because red and red, Cyclops red is going to win, right? 131 versus her 79. So yeah, she he wins the red war. He's going to win the yellow war. The only world left is the black one. I think Dr. Doom's going to beat her there. 74. And, yep, 62. So yeah, so unfortunately she's not going to tank nothing. Ah, <sighs> sigh. So, not Captain Marvel. Not unless I, like, put some other people in that she'd be able to do better than. Or put a support on her to make her color stronger. But I digress. Um, we need to get more black. I wonder if I could put in, like, just good old three-star Loki or um, Hood and just kind of passively steal it over time. I don't want Jean Grey to activate, and I don't want Craven to activate. Um, and both of those guys would kind of circumvent that. I think that might be a good, a decent way to go. Let's give it a try, shall we? What's the worst that happens? We lose a fight? Oh, darn. Let's put in a two extra black just to start. Let's get it done with quickly. And I don't need whales in here. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, let's target... It doesn't even matter who we target. Okay, if I move this yellow to the right, it's going to make a match five of green. So those yellows will disappear, the greens will fall, that'll be a match five, and Jean Grey's going to go crazy on me. So I cannot do that. Um, as annoying as this is. I will take the yellow that way, though, because I need yellow. <clears throat> Maybe I should have put the yellow boost AP on. Oh well. I will take this. Now we're looking to get black, so really no reason for me not just to take the black. If you're gonna get for black, go for black, and you need you're gonna use your five stars. Doom is a good option because the enemy matches black or yellow, you absorb it, and then you can use your four star Cyclops to, you know, make more of it. But that's if you have that option. I want to take this yellow purple combo right there I'm going to totally move use the uncanny strategist right now now there's a match 5 of team ups there but of course we know Jean Grey is going to punish us for that so let's not do that we'll just do this one right here wait wait a minute did I do this wrong? Is black not my strongest right now? I thought I had a support on Doom. Oh no, I don't. I do not have a support on Doom. Well, shoot. Well, that ruins part of the plan. Here, you know what? I don't do this that often. Let's do this. Let's retreat out. Let's fix that. I apologize. I thought I had a support on him for this. Yeah, let's put a support on him to make black his toughest. <sighs> Sorry guys, that was not my intent. Where is your... Wait. Nope. Where is a black power-up? Oh, there we go. Black match damage increased by 84. Would that be enough? 84 would bring that to 158. Yep, that would be the strongest color. Let's do it. Thanos don't need us right now. Isn't there someone else like Hydra Henchman? 84 again. Um, Fortify Special. Actually, this one might be better. I think I'll do that one. There we go. Because it doesn't make a tile. We, we don't want Craven getting more ammo, right? I'm not going to worry about this little bit of health gun. Although I got 191 health packs, so who am I kidding? Let's just use them. And like I said before, let's use the yellow AP because why didn't I do that before? Okay, try this again, but with the actual game plan in check. So 
sometimes you know you got to remember the supports but then uh also remember when you don't have them equipped it's kind of ridiculous that i did not okay so yellow is ready Ugh. oh and of course doom steals the yellow bit by bit i forgot about that so i gotta get one more bit um hmm I guess Loki's gonna take a punch right now. Okay. Give me that yellow, sir. Okay, let's throw that out there. I'll take this black. And then because there's no black showing, there's no yellow showing, thank you support for fortifying that tile. I'm gonna use this white. It gets me more black. I'm up to 10 black now because of this. There's, there is some black showing, but I only need 18. Although, if he takes any black, he's going to blast me with that. Um... Oh, he doesn't have it. Ah, he doesn't have the black ability. That's amazing. Um, maybe I should just take it then. Oh, but then he'll absorb one. Eh, I don't know. I'm just I'm complaining. Let's do it. Okay... That's 16. Just one more match of black or of team up and we'll be good. I guess I'll take this blue. Poor Dr. Doom is doing nothing. And here we go. Thanks Doom for just doing nothing, but Cyclops and um, and then, well, I guess Doom with your uh, support made black the color. But uh, Cyclops pretty much got it done by himself. Good job. Puzzle over round two. Collect 28 blue on your turn. New tiles have an increased chance to be red. To be red? But I gotta make blue? <sighs> I need blue. Then it's gonna be increased chance of red. So I could use uh, three star Iron Man and have them like let's th if you throw out like twelve yellow right get three two recharges out on the board, you'll make all the blue you need. Game over. Um, but that relies on getting twelve yellow. Um, I went back here. I want to see the opponents again. Nico, War Machine, and Blade. Okay. I kind of want to have a special tile user of my own then out there because if Nico's out there, that means they're going to make special tiles and make them better. So instead of doing that route, I'll probably do this route. Um, he has a passive that states that whenever you, well, I'll just show you. When you match an enemy special tile, gain two blue and two purple. Um, so I'm going to throw in our friendly, well, maybe not so friendly, special tile maker, Carnage. And then I'm also going to throw in Medusa. She has a chance. Oh, not, not that one. Not, wait, is it that one? No, it's Resolute Queen. There it is. Enemy tile, gain three AP in either blue, a purple, or green. We need the blue, right? He's making special tiles, three per turn. And he's going to make two blue or two purple. So we're going to go this route because Nico's going to make tiles. She's going to strengthen tiles. Let's try to keep that under wraps. We don't want that happening and getting away from us. What's the red for? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> More red will drop, but I have no use for it here, and I don't think I'll need it. Okay. So we want the blue, so I'll have the blue. <clears throat> okay, so I'll take this red tile right there. It has an enemy thing on it. So now we're up to 10 blue already. Um, I don't really want to match my own Entanglement tile this time around. Um, if only because um, the more friendly tiles we have out there, the less uh, Carnage is going to put out. We want him to keep putting out stuff. Okay, I'm going to take that one right there. So we're up to 15 now. Oh, if only they would have kept that red there. That would have been nice to match three at once. 
Um, I guess I'll match that one. Up to 17 blue. So these two specials are up here. So 21 blue. We're getting there. Seven more. Oh, you triggered my trap card. Um, we'll just move that one on up. 26 blue. One more blue match. Or any, or any enemy tile, really, for that matter. Yep, we got it. They matched an enemy tile, or one of their own, and gave us the blue. Beautiful. Okay, moving on to the third one. Collect 30 green. On your turn, new tiles have an increased chance to be purple. Well, there's two main three-star characters, I think, when it comes to, you know, turning purple into green, and that's Kamala Khan and three-star Black Widow. Uh, both of them have a good chance of doing that. Um, but if we're using match fours and whatnot, Loki's going to steal stuff from us, and that's going to be highly annoying. Um, Mockingbird will also get um, free moves off of us and free AP generation, depending on our match fours as well. So this is basically punishing our match four game. <sighs> but we were kind of silly if we don't use Kamala Khan or Three Star Widow, to be quite fair. Um, I'll probably go for uh, Kamala, because she can kind of nullify an entire color when she does her thing too. I'm not saying it's better, it's just it's cheaper and it also comes with healing, and yeah, I think that's kind of better all the way around. So first off, we need a, another option. We need to make green, right? So um, increased chance to be purple. So I mean, I could use Winter Soldier and use his purple. Well, no, I'm not gonna use his purple though. I'm like, let's be fair. I'm gonna use Kamala's every time. Kamala, I'm saying it weird. I know I am. Um, we just need to make green though I guess I will put Iron Man in I mean if I get enough yellow it generates some green There's some amount yeah three green for each countdown I mean why wouldn't you right so we'll do that then we'll go oh hello Miss Khan where are you <clears throat> There you are, down there. Okay, and then finally, who do we fill in here with a, I guess we don't need to worry about the purple option because Kamala's got that. Um, someone is good at making green. Oh, duh, I know who. Um, well, there's two options. Oh shoot, we could use Red Hulk. I kind of forgot his purple to green nonsense. For seven purple, we'll just generate seven green. I mean, I guess it's good to have options. Could do that. That's tempting. Could do that, and then I could go on with... Um, I think I will. Could do Cho. Just do two big old hulks out there. He's going to passively make green with this. And I'll get the purple to steal green. Or make green, in this case. Yeah, I think it'll be good. We'll keep the blue-purple boost on there. Let's go. Okay. Um, well, hey, this has to happen. It's a match five. Yeah, 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 opportunist. We get it. Um, I'm going to take this because I'd rather take the purple than what they're about to do. Um, do I do that? Do I, is it that easy as that? Yeah, I do. Because if those, if those trickeries or the mischiefs end up taking my purple, I'll be a little upset by that. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And then I will match this. Let's get a match four and do a match five. Oh, and they got a match five on the left side now because of that. My negligence. Ah. <sighs> 
So I'm just gonna use this again though, cause why wouldn't you? We're at 19 already, we need 30. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Mm, we'll take that more purple. Get your secret mission away from me, ma'am, sir, whatever you are. Okay. Down to 17 green, but... Oh, okay, all that happened. <laughs> I mean, like, um, what do I make of that? <laughs> I'm thinking this will be worth it. Right here, to here, to here. This board shake's helping too. Because I'm getting all kinds of extra purple from what's dropping. Okay. What do I got over here? Intimidation, Technopathic. I don't know if Technopathic's gonna help much, but I will use this. We're up to 27 now. Oh, well then I just match this and we're done. There we go. Beautiful. I think that worked pretty well. I don't know if I've used that tactic yet. You usually end up relying on Khan or uh, Widow. But, I don't know. Just kind of scrolling through four stars, saw them, and said, why not, right? Okay, for these last two, these are the ultra, ultra, ultra hard ones. We got changing the game, which is 2,400 points, and bending the rules, which is 1,680. I usually go in points order, so bending the rules is going to be first. We need to collect 30 red. We're going against Killmonger and Karnak. And they basically, they state if I'm going to match a crit tile, I'm going to pay with 5 red or a bunch of damage. So in other words, I can't match crits unless I stun Killmonger first. You know? Uh, new tiles have an increased chance to be blue. So we use that to our advantage here. We want red, huh? Um, if I'm thinking red... And I know I am. It's got to be him. Out of these five character options, I mean, you could go with this and hope. And, and the keyword is hope. You could fall into um, uh, 12 yellow. But the tiles have an increased chance to be um, blue. And because of that, his blue isn't going to help you here. You need the yellow. Um, this guy's blue actually drains red from the board. So that's who I would go with here. Since you're looking to gather all the red you can. His yellow also is going to help you make red. Because that's your strongest color right now. I mean as long as you don't have a support on him of course. So. <clears throat> Once again I'm going to boost up some AP. Some red and some blue. We're going to make this easier on us. And why wouldn't you? Now we're not going to be able to stun Killmonger. We're just going to avoid those... Um, those uh, match fives at all costs, or I shouldn't say match fives, we're gonna avoid the crit tiles at all costs. <sighs> I hate doing this, but I'm gonna take the yellow because uh, getting the uncanny strategies out there first is kind of important. So I'm gonna put that out there now. Do I make the crit? You see that over there? Oh wait, the team up will be in the way, that won't be a crit, perfect. So make the make the match five. Oh, oh, there goes the crit. Dang it. Well, ah, whatever. What are you gonna do, right? Any more red? Um, I'll take the more red, please. Hey, I need that. I can put that back on the board. Um, I'm gonna put that out of their reach. There's more red. Um, more red with the 20. Cyclops is not to be trifled with when it comes to making the the strong AP. He's pretty darn good at it. Of course, you just need that 5 yellow to start it up. I'm going to take more yellow in case they get rid of my tile. Ouch. Okay. I'll take that. 24. 
Okay, up to 27, and just let me have this, and I'll be it. Yep, 30 red. Done. Good old Scott Summers. The eternal Boy Scout getting it done. Never mind that whole blasting Xavier in the face deal, but, you know, that's a whole other story. Um, cool. One node left, guys, and we're doing good. We're making good time. Puzzle Gauntlets usually take an hour for, like, five of these pins. I'm going to have a hard time saying pins, I swear. But here we are. <clears throat> I'm saying pins because they call them that on the forums and whatnot. These aren't nodes. These are pins. I thought these stages were called nodes. Maybe they changed it at some point. I don't know. Collect 30 purple AP. On your turn, new tiles have a chance to be enemy strike tiles. Um, okay, so that means when the new, the strike tiles go down, they're going to do more damage, obviously, with everything they do. And when Medusa matches them, they're going to be uh, healing for them, which I really don't care about. When Captain Marvel uh, makes a countdown and it finishes, which Medusa always has a countdown out there, don't forget, um, it will strengthen those strike tiles. So we kind of want to use them to our own advantage. Thankfully, we have just the character for it. Hi, Hawkeye. This is going to be tough for you, buddy. Uh, we're going to heal you first. And we need it to be purple, right? 30 purple. Now, remember, we match the enemy tile. We get two blue, two purple. Um, we're not going to use his purple, obviously. We can use his blue if we want. And that might be handy for stunning someone once. Because that's all it does. And putting out other tiles in this ship. But what we really want is that black. Because his black makes more enemy tiles, which means more easy, easier for us to match and make more purple ourselves. Also, uh, when I use black actively, um, it restores a lot of his health, and he's going to need that. <clears throat> I might even put a support on him for this one. Um, maybe like Lucky. I just want a friendly specials matched. Hmm. I don't think there's anything for like increasing the amount of black AP gained when I match it. Maximum health up. I mean, that's not bad. I don't think we have a better option. What does Hulkling do? Green. Max health. Fires of power, which blue is cheap. Chance to fortify random... Eh. Characters healed. They heal an extra 520. That's not horrible. I feel like I can go for Yarrow Root instead if I want healing buffs, though. Um, I mean, Black Widow's Batons might help, even though it's just purple damage. Uh, there's a 13% chance to make a countdown that can stun an enemy for a turn. Now, I know it's only one turn, but that might be all the reprieve I need. Chewy doesn't do anything with black. Destroyer gun, purple, chance to fortify a random friendly, extra damage. Oh, it doesn't pocket radio? Oh, at level five. Dang. But it's for damage. I still want the black generation. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have it here, are we? There's nothing like that. At least not... No. Not currently there isn't. Uh, so I guess if I put on anything, it'll just be for more health. Max health increased by 1471. Although, supporter character's damage from enemy power is reduced by 495. That's kind of a big deal if you think about it. Because what that means is every time that um, entanglement goes off, it's going to hurt me less. That's kind of important. Hmm. I think I might have found a new winner. Vibranium ore, oh, power, powers deal additional damage, which I don't care about. Less damage from any matches. They make a match in the team's strongest color. There's a chance to gain one AP of that color. Well, black is not my strongest. Actually, is purple his strongest? Nah, it's not worth thinking about. We need that damage reduction for powers. And I think we know what we're going to do now.
Yeah, I think we're doing it. We're taking Lucky. Come on, puppers. We need you. So we're going to take less damage from everything, which I think is a big deal. Um, we'll take the extra. We'll take the blue and black, and we're going to get rid of the whales. No necessariness there. <sighs> I don't think I need that team up here. That's not going to help one bit. Uh, I guess I'll take... Um, Take a lightning storm with me. That can help. Well, it's only if I have a bunch of... Well, I won't have any use for green. So, yeah, that would use the green. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's go, Hawkeye. Okay. doesn't really matter who we're targeting. We're not trying to kill anyone. Um, I guess if anything, we want to stun someone. And I guess if anyone, I'd want to stun Medusa. <sighs> so, let's start off with that red into blue. Cascade. We need 30 purple. Oh, I see some purple ready to match. Let's get this blue out there now, though. Isn't it annoying that the energy manipulation already hits, though? I, I make my purple match, and she gets more black. I matched that black, though, and I got a little bit of purple for it. So, you know, quid pro quo or whatever, you know. Oh, I'll just take that right there. Thank you. Up to 14 purple already, guys. Not bad. Get another arrow out there. I took the blue. Help a black will fall, which it didn't. Okay, now that's going to be scary if that goes off. I guess I'll just take that, sure. Uh-oh. That was a lot of damage all at once. Not cool. Okay. More blue. I could take that purple. Or I could make that a blue and purple combo match there, which is matching that enemy tile. Ah. <sighs> I guess I gotta take the strip purple because that's actually three instead of just doing two of the one I need. Oh my lord, it's a lot of pain. Not sure. That strike tile damage is, is killing me right now. We're up to 26 though. We're very close. One of those, one of those. If only we could reach some of those enemy tiles right now. Um, I guess there's a couple ways we could hope on a cascade. Let me match, oh boy. Match these reds. Ah, I was hoping that green would fall right onto it. So that entanglement would kill me right now if I didn't have that actual support equipped. Um, this is down to the wire. We need just two more. Oh no, this is probably death because he just strengthened that. I need two more purple. Do you see purple? Because I don't. <laughs> And this is death if this hits. Ooh. That's my only move is that yellow too. I guess I just gotta hope that um that the on top of that red, that red with the at the very top there, the uh, black tile will fall first. If it does, I win. If not, I lose. Oh, wait, oh, an enemy strike fell. Oh, man, a plan, an option C happened. Luck happened. Wow. There we go. I'm telling you, how would you do it without Hawkeye? I mean, I guess you could maybe try for Iron Man because he can make purple with his yellow, but I don't think that's ideal. 
That's a, that's a pretty weak trade-off. Um, if you put a support on Cyclops to try to have purple be a strongest, like the Stepford Cuckoos, for example, they would make your purple boost. Um, then you could use his, um, his yellow to make purple AP out of that. Um, but like you saw, like I, that was down to the wire and that was because I had the lucky <clears throat> blocking power damage for me. So that's really, I think the key is a little bit of defense because you need to stall for time while you collect your AP. And there we go. My Atlantis five star token. Let's get our rewards and be, thanks for watching along with us. So let's go and spend it, right? <clears throat> we got new toys. First off, we visit the vaults. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Okay. We can hope for another five-star Atlantis token because, you know, you can't have enough. Even if I have two of them, I, don't, I think I want more. <laughs> Uh, Ms. Marvel is not in Atlantis. And neither is Moonstone. Oh, well. We tried. How about... Nothing else in there, right? Nope. Okay. Scroll on over. Let's go on down. <clears throat> Here's our supports. We'll start with these guys. Start with the basic one, the beginner one. Okay, 1 in 50 chance of getting a 4 star that we might need, or we do need. Um, I only have a 3 star in a lot of these. So, 4 star hope, for example, would be a great upgrade. Um, so, anyways, ready? Nope, duplicate. How about this advanced one? 1 in 100 chance of being a 5 star. I only have one of those. That's Lucky, the pizza dog, and... He's not in here. So any one of these five star I will take gladly. Nope. Just a three star victorious. Already got that. Let's scroll on down to Atlantis now. Okay, we got two of these puppies to spend. One in 40 chance of getting a five star Atlantis. One in eight of getting it four star. I already have three star, I'm pretty darn sure. So we're hoping for the five or the four. Here we go. Hey, we got a four. That's nice. We got an upgrade. Cool. Well, we got one more. It's a one in 40 chance of making it a five star. I mean, why would you not spend it, right? Okay, here we go. Nope. And that's okay. We have our upgrade. Matter of fact, we can go into supports right now. We know it's a four star. Scroll to the end of my list. There's Atlantis. And we can totally level it up right now. <clears throat> there we go. Level 200 Atlantis. So now it's got a better chance of starting with the 5 green AP. And character powers deal some more damage. Any upgrade is good and welcome. Thank you very much. And of course, you know, Namor gets that extra bit at the bottom. But let's face it, we're not using Namor anytime soon. Especially for... That's not going to make us dust him off, okay? Anyways, that's it. That is the final five nodes of Puzzle Gauntlet. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys probably tomorrow-ish, maybe? No, maybe not. I'm kind of busy lately. Within the next couple days, because we have to go through the next Crash of the Titans. It's been sitting there, collecting dust. I need to go get it done. Anyways, thank you very much again. You all have a good night. Later.